When it comes to Deadpool in the Marvel comics, there is no shortage of offbeat stories and content to go around. One of Deadpool's weddings even broke the Guinness World Record for most characters in a single comic cover photo. On that record-breaking night, Deadpool took some time to break the fourth wall and thank everyone for coming to his wedding and helping him to break a world record. In his celebration of the night of his wedding, he shared multiple different stories of when he had gotten married. He also talked about how he had already been married to his new bride, but this ceremony was for all the friends and family to be able to make it. He then went on to tell the story of how this wedding came to be. For this wedding, Deadpool was getting married to Shikla, the queen of the underworld. Unfortunately, as the wedding grew closer, Wade realized that he had to find someone to marry the couple off. Deadpool frantically asked around to see if anyone would marry them. After Doctor Strange, Captain America, and Wolverine all declined to officiate the wedding, he eventually decided to allow the X-Man Nightcrawler to perform the ceremony. Although they wouldn't officiate the wedding, Wolverine, Doctor Strange, Captain America, and others were there as bachelors to Deadpool and helped him get ready for his big day. They made their way to the reception in style and even joked about an invitation that they had sent to a blind person. When the group arrived, Shikla's face lit up as she saw Wade dressed up in his suit. Nightcrawler began the ceremony by thanking everyone for coming together to celebrate Wade and Shikla's wedding, when out of nowhere the weather acted up as if it was about to rain and ruin their wedding day. To their surprise, it was just Thor showing up a little late for the ceremony. After Thor's brief interruption, Shikla began her vows. Wade followed her words with a brief speech that he commented about not being able to remember later. When the wedding ceremony concluded, the couple and their guests moved to the after party, which was filled with fun and dancing. After the newly married pair had danced their fill, Deadpool left to find something for he and his wife to eat, as he commented to himself how glad he was that he had found a wife who appreciated tacos like he did. While this may have been one of Deadpool's more famous romances because of the world record associated with it, Deadpool had shared a few stories of his previous marriages earlier during his out-of-control bachelor party with Captain America and Wolverine, who could not believe someone as crazy as Deadpool had been married before. One of Deadpool's love lives started with his quest to steal the seventh Infinity Gem from Thanos when he was asleep. He was able to acquire the Continuity Gem, which gave the comic writers unlimited power in their writing. Now, in the hands of Wade Wilson, the Continuity Gem could be used to retcon his story however he saw fit. Quickly afterwards, while changing stories, Deadpool was hit by Cupid's arrow and instantly fell in love with a woman named Genosha. Full of love, Deadpool asked Genosha to marry him when he first saw her. He then used the continuity gem to get his wedding officiated. Unfortunately, as the wedding was about to take place, Genosha was shot by intruding mob members. Deadpool moved on quickly, however, and left behind both his would-be bride and the all-powerful continuity gem for the writers to recover. On another occasion while on the run from Hydra, Deadpool asked Dr. Betty Swanson if she would marry him. However, as he proposed, the flowers he had gathered for her knocked her unconscious. Deadpool then happened upon a shaman, to whom he gave the option of presiding over Deadpool and the unconscious Dr. Swanson's wedding, or simply being murdered. After a few hours, the shaman began to perform the marriage ceremony for the two. Once the doctor woke up and regained her consciousness, she went on her way, leaving Deadpool all alone, and none the wiser of their wedding. Reflecting back on it, Wade still wasn't sure if that wedding counted officially, but it counted in his eyes. After telling his past wedding stories at his bachelor party, Deadpool saw that all the people who had come for his wedding were blacked out because of the crazy night that they all had celebrating his wedding to Shikla the next day. Deadpool helped Taskmaster get back on his feet and get him back home. On his way out, Taskmaster told Wade that he should let Shikla go, and that he would be vulnerable now that he was a married man. Taskmaster then drove off into the night, leaving Deadpool to grab a cab and bringing his crazy night to an end.